branch prediction is very important to the performance of a deeply pipeline processor. Branch prediction enables the processor to begin executing instructions long before the branch outcome is certain. Recent work about branch prediction shows that the index aliasing problem is one of the root problems that affect the performance of the global predictor. Hence, the goal of this paper is to address the aliasing problem to determine how it affects the misprediction rate and performance of the modern processor consists of local and global predictors. And this paper will also propose a scheme that can elevate the aliasing problem. We implemented this branch prediction screen scheme, simulated on the simulator and applied it to a different domain of benchmark to evaluate its effectiveness. To find an optimized branch prediction scheme with a lower misprediction rate and better performance, I did a review on the current mainstream branch prediction scheme to find their weakness that can be improved in my branch predictor. So the figure in the left shows the structure of one bit branch predictor. If the final execution result of branch instruction is jump or taken, that is the value in one bit execution counter is one. Then the following execution result of branch instruction is also predicted as jump. If the prediction is correct, the value of the saturation counter does not change. Otherwise, the value in the saturation counter needs to be flipped. A critical problem of this predictor happens when the jump direction of branch instruction changes every time. Then the accuracy of branch prediction based on branch instructions last an execution result will be 0%. Specifically, if the branch outcome is taken, not taken, taken, not taken, then the outcome of one bit branch predictor will be not taken, taken, not taken, and taken, which produce a 100% misprediction rate. The figure in the right side shows the structure of a 2-bit branch predictor, which is used to predict the outcome of a branch instruction based on the result of the two most recent branch instructions. The 2-bit branch predictor scheme method is represented by a state machine with four states. When the state machine code is 1-1, the counter is in a saturated state, which means that the prediction of the next branch will be predicted as taken. If the outcome of the next branch is not taken, the branch predictor won't change its mind unless the predictor makes two wrong predictions in a row. The weakness of this branch prediction scheme is revealed when the, the outcome of branch instruction always changes. In this case, the state machine cannot be in a saturated state, which means there will be a relatively low prediction accuracy of the branch predictor. The picture in the left side shows the structure of the B mode branch predictor. That is one of the two level predictors which has a very high branch prediction rate and will be used later in this project to compare with my new proposed uh, branch predictor. The B mode branch predictor has three pattern hist history tables. So it, it includes the taken PHT, the not taken PHT, and the trice PHT, as you can see in the figure, which are composed of two-bit saturation counters. This predictor works as the following. When predicting a branch, 
if the result obtained from the history table is 0, 0, which means strongly not taken, or 0, 1, which means wrongly not taken, the predictor will use the result of not taken PhD as final prediction. Otherwise, the, predic the predictor will use the result from taken PhD. The B mode branch predictors GHR values and PhD table values are updated in a similar way to GShare and GSLAC branch predictor. But only GHR and PhD table which is selected in the choice of PhD are updated. Although the B-mode branch predictor has a high and reliable prediction rate, the large hardware and energy overhead due to its three PhD tables cannot be neglected. Finally, the best performing branch prediction scheme as of recent years involve combining multiple predictors that track whether a prediction is likely to be associated with the current branch. One important class of predictors is loosely based on an algorithm for statistical compression called PPM, which means prediction by partial matching. PPM, like a branch prediction algorithm, attempts to predict future behavior based on history. This class of branch predictors, which we call tagged hybrid predictors, implies a series of global predictors indexed with different lens histories. Compared to GShare, tagged uh, hybrid predictors provide a great prediction accuracy. But at the same time, they are more complex to implement and are probably slightly slower because they need uh, to check multiple tags and choose a prediction result. Knowing the weakness of current branch prediction schemes, I decided to propose and design a new branch predictor with following properties. The first one is higher prediction accuracy than 1-bit and 2-bit saturation counter. The second one is lower memory overhead than two-level branch predictor, such as B-mode branch predictor we mentioned uh, in the previous slide. The third one is faster response speed than hybrid and uh, neural network predictor. The following picture is the design structure of my proposed branch predictor. So this mode is based on GSelect and GShare branch predictor, but using bit splicing and XOR scheme. As mentioned in my proposal, the conventional branch predictor that combines local and global predictor is still an up-to-date prediction scheme. However, the index aliasing problem is one of the root problems that affect the performance of the gl global predictor. So this model is proposed to elevate the aliasing problem. So this table shows an example of the index aliasing problem caused by GSLAC branch predictor. Assuming that PC and GHR are 16 bits, GSELECT combine the high 8 bits of PC value with low 8 bits of GHR to get the new index. The XOR scheme uses the, the XOR operation between PC and index generated by GSELECT and then combine them to generate the final index. As we can observe from this table, from two cases with different PC value and GHR value, index aliasing will occur in GSELECT scheme, but will not appear in my XOR scheme.
the properties that my XOR scheme can avoid index aliasing in GSELECT cannot prove that it has better prediction accuracy than normal GSELECT scheme. As the practice is the sole criterion of truth, the best way to evaluate my scheme is to use the simulator to implement this scheme and run different benchmarks with a huge number of lines of instructions to further evaluate this XOR scheme. In this project, I worked with Germ5, an open source system level and uh, processor simulator we use throughout this semester to implement the XOR scheme and run different benchmark programs to test the performance of GSLAC branch predictor, uh, the XOR predictor, and the B mode predictor. To evaluate the prediction rate of the new branch predictor, I established a simulator platform based on Germ5. So this paper uses Germ5 simulator and the benchmark programs for our simulation and it uses GSELECT, B mode and the new branch prediction scheme as experiment objects. The benchmark program I use includes test FMAS, test LSWLR, test mass test long and test printf. The branch prediction rate of GSELECT, B mode and new scheme is tested and analyzed. Based on five test sets, the branch prediction rate of those branch predictor is shown in the figure in the left. From this picture, it can be observed that the prediction rate of new prediction scheme outperforms the JSELECT branch predictor on all benchmarks. The highest pre branch prediction rate of the new scheme is achieved in test mass benchmark at 95.01%. And at the same time, the prediction rate of JSELECT is only 93.13%. According to all benchmarks, a calculation is done to calculate the overall prediction rate gap between GSELECT and the new scheme. The result shows that the new scheme has a 1.53% overall prediction rate than GSELECT predictor, but the overall prediction rate of GSELECT and the new scheme are still lower than that of the B mode one of the two level predictors which has higher branch prediction rate but also have a higher memory overhead. Branch prediction enables the processor to begin executing instructions long before the branch outcome is certain and become more and more important to the performance of a deep lake pipeline processor. This paper did a review and analysis on the current mainstream branch predictions, prediction scheme to find out their weakness that can be improved. Then I propose a new branch predictor which is based on GSELECT and GCR branch predictor by using bit splicing and XOR scheme. To evaluate the prediction rate of the new branch predictor, I established a simulation pl platform based on Germ5. The result shows that the highest branch prediction rate of the new scheme is achieved in test mass benchmark at 95.01%. And at the same time, the prediction rate of the GSELECT is only 93.13%. According to all benchmarks, a calculation is done to calculate the overall prediction rate gap between GSELECT and the new scheme. The result shows that the new scheme has a 1.53 overall prediction rate than GSELECT predictor. This new scheme, especially the use of XOR to remove aliasing, can provide a reference for better predictors to come in the future. Alright, thanks for watching.